Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your own reading, Capricorn, we do. And uh, we have a dog here, Capricorn, and a little brunette child. Looks like my daughter when she's little. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, and we also have the Sudden Wealth card here, right? Uh, somebody has a child here, that's really clear, right? Maybe it's a little girl. This is a little girl, right? Definitely. And so... We also have the Sudden Wealth card, and this could be talking about you have some money coming, Capricorn, or maybe you got a new job or a new contract or a raise, something like that, right? Uh, but the dog talks about somebody who is loyal or either trying to figure out where their loyalty lies could be, right? We have Psyche over here, Capricorn, and uh, mm -hmm, uh, maybe you or your person has been sitting on the couch. You know what I mean about the couch, right? Psychologist couch. I don't feel like the psychologist puts you on the couch, uh, but the psychiatrist might. They used to, right? Uh, these days, they'll come lay down with you on the couch, <laughs> right? Or they give you something to, like, uh, wear, you know, give you some drugs here. Psychiatrists give drugs out, right? And that's why I don't believe in them, really. No, I don't. Hell no, because uh, they want to make money. Uh, they're pharma peddlers. Yeah, they are, these bitches, right? <laughs> But the psychologist is more of a therapist, right? He can't give medicine. Uh, you know, so this could be an air sign. And Psyche, I believe, was uh, the wife or the girlfriend or the lover, right, of Cupid, right? Mm -hmm. I think something happened to Psyche. Here she is, though, the princess of arrows. And all these beautiful butterflies are here. I've never really seen a blue butterfly. I'm sure that they probably exist. Uh, I feel like there's thousands of maybe at least hundreds of different uh, butterflies. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as you know these GMO crops, uh, you know, or you know the the glyphosate and all that they use uh, is poisoning the air. It is and uh, making the bees die out. Yeah, luckily we have some of these agencies that protect the butterflies. Yeah, they do. But here she is, really beautiful, and you know she's uh, very like innocent. Well, she's uh, you know, and here she is, but she's holding the sword and she has a wand in her hand. I think maybe a wand in her hands. I'm not sure, but maybe not. But here she is kind of, uh, kind of, she has her arrow, like she's pointing at this new beginning down here with all these butterflies. We have also fortune and fortune, uh, is, could be Sagittarius here, uh, number 10 in the major arcana. It's the wheel of fortune, really. And, you know, it's next to sudden wealth, so this could be, you know, good luck for you. It could be, possibly, right? Sudden wealth and the fortune card. But, you know, it talks about uh, Zeus, I believe, uh, banished his, his only daughter here uh, to this, to this kind of castle or this place, like away from, just away from society. So she's here playing her lute, right? Uh, on this couch, right? She has nothing else to do, right? And so she's sitting there and... Uh, somebody told Zeus, some, you know, sorcerer or somebody told Zeus that your firstborn will kill you or will try to kill you. So this is why he put, her name was Denai or Danae. I'm not sure how you, it looks probably, it's probably, it's probably uh, Danae, but uh, kind of like Renee, right? But he, he banished her over here. And I feel like somebody went to her boyfriend, whoever her boyfriend was. I don't think it was Zeus. I think that was her dad. Maybe it was Zeus, but somebody came to, her boyfriend came to, to get her. He's like, oh, hell no. They're not going to put, you know, my baby over here. This could be about a rescue, possibly. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we also have this card, the three of wands here. And the man is here. He's a farmer. And, you know, he's holding the bag of seed. And he's, you know, he's planting these seeds. Uh, he probably knows that, you know, they're burning down... Uh, or a lot of food processing plants have burned, yeah, and also uh, uh, these people, the powers that be, they are paying farmers not to plant crops. You know, with that being said, you, you most people are going to ask them why, yeah, okay. So he's planting a seed. I would recommend you guys try to plant something for yourself uh, because there are uh, they're threatening food shortages. It's exactly the same th thing I just said. Uh, we can't discuss it here, no, uh, because you guys don't want that, of course. But uh, we're going to see what this Three of Wands is about. I feel like somebody here wants to, like, grow something with you, Capricorn, and they do. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what they say about the Three of Wands. 
in this particular deck. Mm -hmm. And this is development. Yeah, they want to develop something with you. <laughs> Meetings that will be profitable for making your dream come true. Correspondence, a short trip. Uh, Persipacity concerning which actions to take. Well, I'll be honest, I've never really seen that word, uh, persipacity, but I'm sure it has to do with the ability to, uh, like, look at each perspective, kind of. I'm sure it does. And so, you know, uh, this could be about you, like, maybe growing something in your own life with the sudden wealth card and the fortune card. Uh, but this could be, you know, maybe, you know, profitable. It, it could, doesn't have to be only money. It could be love, right? Maybe you're going to meet up with somebody here. That's going to make your dream come true. Yeah. And this is also correspondence, which is really interesting. In other words, maybe they're going to message you, right? Or call you or, right? And let's see what uh, the fortune card says here. Yeah. Fortune 500. Yeah. Let's see what we got, you guys. <laughs> and, uh, mm hmm The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. And uh, the lovers deny... Danae and Zeus, maybe that was her lover. Uh, what number is this? Oh, it's, yeah, sorry. Oh, it's 10. Duh. Let's see. Chance, fate, expansion, and prosperity. Yeah, King uh, Acrisius, right? Or, yeah, Acrisius, whatever his name is. He sounds like he was a crisis all by himself, doesn't he? Probably named a word after him. Because a lot of this is about Greek mythology and crises. The word crises comes from, it means turning point, right? or crisis, right? That's where they get that from. There could be a major turning point going on here. There could, or a crisis could be, uh, I feel like somebody wants to take a chance on you and expand this. That's why we have uh, the man, the farmer, right? They want to grow this with you, Capricorn. Either that or they want to see if you still look sexy in overalls, right? If you can pass the test, you're good, right? I don't think I would look good in overalls, but you know. <laughs> so let's see what else we have. Uh, let's see the story. King uh, Acrisius, or whatever, had a daughter named Danae, a princess with a curse. For upon her birth, it was predicted that one of the princess's offer, offspring would kill the king. Yeah, in other words, uh, it looks like her mother thought that, you know, her baby, right, the firstborn, would kill her father, her husband. When Danae came of age, the king walled her, walled her within a tower, yeah, made of bronze, despite this Danae was loved by Zeus. Oh, because Zeus was her, her husband or her boyfriend, whatever. And together they had a son named uh, per Perseus. Perseus grew up into a strong man and after many adventures slayed Acrisius, which really was his grandfather. Yeah. A just punishment for treating his only daughter so cruelly. Mm -hmm. See? There could be an ending here. There could be an ending for somebody it looks like somebody wants to clear something out of the way here and have some type of grow something with you, expand this with you. And this could be a rescue, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have the princess of arrows. Let's look at, uh, let's look at psyche here, right? Mm -hmm. She, she had her psyche intact. She did. Uh, she didn't believe these people. Let's see what else it says here. You guys about the princess of swords. Mm hmm. OMG, sorry guys, see what it says. And a message is education and articulation. Yeah, this can talk about correspondence. I feel like this person's going to uh, contact you. And here, you know, here's Psyche. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, where is articulation, education, like learning something, right? News that brings sense to a situation, the ability to create influence and bring understanding using the power of words. Somebody's going to come either apologize to you or explain where they've been, uh, what their prob, what their issue might have been. It could be a child right here. Maybe they were trying to biz, uh, figure out their loyalty with a dog. Uh, maybe you have a dog that looks just like this dog, right? Who looks like he's, mm, I don't know. He could be maybe, I don't know, Pitt and Golden Retriever. Just He's just a little cute doggy here. He's a golden dog. Yeah, he's real cute. And he's ready to play. The ball is there. He has the leash. Like, take me out, right? Maybe that's what you want this person to do, Capricorn. Take you out. 
Yeah, I don't mean kill you, Capricorn, no. Uh, it used to be, you know, take you out. <laughs> like to the ball game or, you know, or, you know, I don't know, to bed or the club, right? Yeah, it could be. We don't know here. <laughs> so let's see what we have uh, for Capricorn. And we're going to use two decks today in the reading. And I hope you guys are all well. Please don't live or die by these. These are general readings. Yeah, they are. These are, This is not a private reading. I mean, it could totally resonate, but it's still not a private reading. So if you see something really scary here, oh, God. Oh, no, don't do that. So let's see what we have, you guys. <laughs> I'm terrible. We have the tower. And let's see what else we have, Capricorn. Uh, we're going to take the nine of wands. Let's see what we have here. And uh, you look like you're in the tower here. You look like you are concerned about something. Uh, you could be waiting for a shocking revelation here or a powerful realization, the tower, but uh, you something has already really bothered you because the Nine of Wands is showing past energy where uh, you felt, uh, you know, bothered or, you know, maybe upset. Yeah, let's see what else we have. The King of Wands. And this is your person probably. And we have the two of wands reversed. We have the six of cups. Yeah, they're from your past. This person's from your past. And uh, you could have had some kind of falling out with this person, possibly. We have the page of swords. And, you know, this can talk about uh, communication. And this page of cups, too. And we see two cards here that can that can imply communication and this is uh the princess of arrows right and she's just like the page of swords except you know they got her showing up with really beautiful long hair and a woman right psyche and then we have the man here the farmer it can talk about communication it can so let's see what else we have uh for capricorn three of cups showing up queen of swords right mm-hmm and let's see Ace of Swords. It looks like there's clarity coming, possibly communication. Yeah, it does look like that. I feel like you are kind of wondering if uh, somebody's going to contact you here. You could be wondering that. You could definitely be wanting it for sure. Let's see why here, Capricorn, in the heart of the matter, uh, it's not really good here. Maybe kind of, uh, you know, you're a little kind of insecure about the future here, this nine of wands, but you know, this could be you maybe, uh, I just feel like it has to do with you. You could be wondering if somebody else is in the same energy, like if they have kind of suffered maybe by a fallout with you or possibly if they're going to show up, things like that. Uh, we have the three of cups here and sometimes this is a reunion. Sometimes it is, uh, you know, this fortune card can talk about a reunion mm-hmm uh kind of like an ending here because uh yeah she was uh kind of left out of she was rescued from the tower but there was also an ending it's kind of interesting and let's see what else we have here and in the heart of the matter we have the page of wands you're wondering if you're gonna have a renewal right here you could be wondering if uh you know if your person this person here is experiencing a tower in their life like if they're going through something difficult, maybe if their relationship's falling apart, you might be wondering that here uh, because you do kind of look like you're unsure and kind of, you know, potentially wondering. You also have the Queen of Swords. Let's see what else we have for Taurus. Yeah, let's see what we have. I mean, for Capricorn. Sorry, you guys. And we have this is called the mediator here and uh this is talks about healing but it talks about accepting the truth and possibly healing from there yeah i feel like you are here kind of you could be wondering if somebody else is accepting a truth maybe a truth that just accepting some type of a truth. I feel like you are wondering about some type of an ending in this reading. Or you could be wondering if somebody has gained their wisdom. And, and from there they have accepted a truth.
King of Wands showing up. Let's see why the King of Wands is there for, for Capricorn. Why is that there? Nine of Pentacles reversed. This could be what you want, and this could be what you are expecting, kind of, right? Or maybe your highest expectations. Well, like if things go my way, this is what I would expect uh, to happen, right? Nine of Pentacles reversed with the, maybe somebody's married here, kind of. Mm -hmm. Because this card can talk about a being attached or, you know, mm -hmm. it can. It's used, This is usually a single woman here. Uh, it can talk about somebody's self-sufficiency sometimes. And this is what I kind of mean about maybe sometimes being single. Self-sufficiency, uh, excuse me, sufficiency by way of uh, their prosperity, right? Their career and things like that. Or, uh, you know, it can talk about somebody being single or not. Let's get uh, a card here on your, I feel like this is what you want. Yeah, you could be, you could be expecting somebody to stay. I feel like what you're doing in this reading, Capricorn, is going back and forth. Well, you might want somebody to come your way here. I feel like you do. You want a renewal with somebody. Yeah, you do from your past. But I feel like in this reading, you're thinking it'll go either way. They might not show up, right? Or they might. You could be really kind of on the fence and kind of going back and forth. But maybe they have to be single. Nine of Pentacles, right? Possibly. We have the King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, maybe I put, uh, maybe I, let me see. I think I switched these cards. I sure did. So let's go back and put these cards in the upright. I just switched them right now when I went to grab them. So, you know, this is what you want. You want somebody, you want a King of Wands possibly to become single. You could be thinking, uh, if things work out for me, somebody will become single for me, right? Maybe they have a child here, Capricorn, and this is part of uh, a difficult situation possibly, right? Maybe you feel like you are uh, blocked off in this tower of, uh, in a wall of bronze, like they blocked off Danae, right? Possibly here. And like, you know, kind of left you out totally. You could be feeling in this reading, Capricorn, that you have been, kind of been like uh, punished kind of by somebody's, by this person's like poor decisions or poor judgment, or uh, maybe they're just in another situation. And this is kind of like affecting you, right? Like, you could just feel kind of left out and you might be feeling like, yeah, they don't make good decisions. And you know, this is why you ended up kind of maybe like Danae, like kind of blocked off or blocked out. Maybe the pay, the two of wands reversed and we have the nine of cups and this is coming into play. So, you know, this two of wands reversed, it, it can be a few things. It really can. Uh, I feel like this is kind of, Let's get a card here because in your reading, these are all about your thoughts. Yeah, they are. But like, I feel like you, this could be saying you're going to get your wish here. Nine of cups. But I feel like this is all about your thoughts. Nine of wands energy. Yeah, it's about your thoughts about the future. Kind of page of swords. This is about your thoughts. Queen of swords. You're discerning. Let's get a card here. This is a trip reading. I feel like it is. And we have the everyday boring couple. And here they are on their farm. And they just went to the everyday boring hairdresser. Yeah, to get kind of a bowl cut. They did. And uh, yeah, I can say that. I used to be a hairdresser. <laughs> here they are, right? And, uh, and they're really uptight. This lady has a stitched up top on. Yeah, maybe your person has an uptight union where nobody, there's no lovemaking going on. Yeah, I just noticed that here, but these people here, all they're doing, the only thing they have in common is that they're going to pay the mortgage together and that they got to keep the farm running. That's it. He hardly talks to her, right? He probably goes in the house and eats lunch and doesn't say a word and comes back out and keeps chopping wood here, right? Possible here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this could be you, your person. I just, I don't feel like this is your union at all. I feel like your person might be in this union where it's like a really boring traditional. And I love tradition because it means family and holidays and, you know, 
uh, respect your mother, respect your father. Yeah, it does. It means that stuff, right? But this could be extreme, like, you know, the bad side of a uh, tradition where, uh, yeah, the boring and uh, I have to stay with this person because, you know, because I said I do, right? Or maybe they said I do to somebody. Somebody looks like they're really in a boring relationship here. There's really no other way to cut that. So we have the Six of Cups, and it's here with the Knight of Cups. And this is, so, you know, this could be part of the past energy here. I feel like you're just wondering if this person's coming to kind of rescue you, Capricorn, because you love them. I also feel like there's a truth that needs to be accepted here, that somebody is, a real, is in a boring union, and, you know, why stay there? They could be staying for a child. You still can't stay for a kid. No, you can't. Oh, hell no. You can be a better parent if you are just uh, happy on your own and you really kind of take good care of your kid. Like you go get your kid on the weekend or whatever, right? Kids just want love. They don't, you know, they don't necessarily want uh, parents to stay together that are miserable. No, they don't. This person in your reading, Capricorn, has some type of guilt. Yeah, they do about their life. And, you know, that's on them kind of, right? A lot of people have guilt about the wrong stuff. Yeah, it's so ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. They went to the school of indoctrination, your person. Or, you know, they didn't learn anything about, like, love growing up. They probably, you know, their their idea of a union was is really kind of twisted or outdated or just wrong. And they might have saw that growing up. Yeah, a lot of people have problems. They saw trauma. Yep. Uh, growing up some type of trauma so let's see let's look at this past energy here it doesn't have to be this could be like your energy right now i feel like here you are looking at this tower here kind of wondering what's going to happen here uh you could be wondering if maybe they're going to end their union their boring union is kind of how it looks here because there's no way you want this person that much if this is you and them this boring couple no hell no capricorn no not the capricorns i know <laughs> so let's see what we have you guys the high vibing Capricorns. Let's see what we got. And let's get a card here. And this could be part of the past energy. We have the ailing king. Okay, this is this is a king who's miserable in their life. This is your person, most likely. You I feel like you could be wondering here, like kind of like, like, what the hell? What are you staying for? This king here, I feel like you might have got this card recently, right? This king here is, uh, every night he goes to bed and he thinks, well, tomorrow might be a better day. But he wakes up to the same old, same old, and he has these potions here, which could be for somebody else, wine or, or pot or whatever, right? But, or just a little, maybe it's freaking uh, Tylenol, right? Whatever it is, uh, yeah, and, you know, just this person could be kind of medicating themselves is what I mean. Yeah, hurting their liver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Possibly here. They could be, right? But this is definitely the miserable king, the ailing king. Like, he's so unhappy that his that he's ailing. Yeah, his, his maybe depression, right? And just really kind of, yeah, I mean, a humdrum life would be really kind of a, a nice way to put it. Yeah, it would be an underestimation here, right? Uh, and so, you know... You could, I just feel like in this reading, you wonder, you, you realize here that this person loves you and that they're in some boring relationship. Yeah. And you could be going, I'm coming over with my equipment here so I can, you know, remove part of your brain here because you can't think with the other side. Yeah, you can't. No. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> One of the cortexes, the frontal lobal, <laughs> the frontal cortex. So we have page of swords and we have the metamorphosis card here you are wondering if you're going to have a brand new beginning with them like a renewal or a transformation and you know this transformation talks about somebody stepping out of something that is really broken to have a brand new life and there's a sacrifice involved a little bit because she's stepping out here this little thin girl yeah real cute real pretty and you know she's naked and she only weighs about uh 98 pounds yeah for sure. And she's stepping out into the snow. She's like, screw this. 
I can't stay here no more, right? <laughs> Let's see, we have, we have the Page of Cups over here. And this is with the Hierophant. This is how they affect you. Yeah, this person, you know, this could be a few things, but I feel like they're belief systems. This is what this is about, their beliefs. Maybe they're coming to you to explain their beliefs. Maybe they're going to wake up, but your whole, your whole reading here is wondering if they're going to wake up. That's what this is about. In the extended, we'll see if they are. Yeah. And if they're not waking up, Capricorn, just tell them power and light is coming. Yeah, we're just going to do a, a full lobotomy. Yeah, we'll screw, screw the frontal cortex, right? <laughs> the whole thing. Let's see what we got, you guys, because electric shock therapy did not work on them, Capricorn. Yeah, they might have went, right? Let's see, we have seven of wands. So this is how somebody is, you feel really overwhelmed here uh, by their beliefs. That's what I was saying. They, they went to the school of indoctrination or they have been, uh, you know, taught all the wrong things about what a relationship is in their life. I feel like that's, this, I feel like it's as simple as that in this reading, right? I think it is. And uh, we have uh, the three of cups. This is how you could be affecting this person. Four of cups. You know, this is a trip here, but they might have to reject somebody in order to, uh, you know, reunite with you, three of cups. And you could be, this could be saying that this person knows here, the joy you bring them puts a spotlight on this boring union that they're in down here. Yeah, such a boring union. Yeah, it's, everything's boring about these people. Their clothes, the look on their face, uh, their relationship, their hair, right? Yeah, and if you go in their house, it's really boring too. Yeah, it is. And basic. Yeah, this is like a threadbare union. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's get a card here on how you might affect them. Let's see what it says here. And we have, uh, this is Moira, and she uh, she's a nun. You guys don't have to be a nun. This is how you're affecting them. No, they're not going to become a nun for you, Capricorn. They, it's really hard for them to, like, leave this boring relationship. So how could they be a nun? <laughs> but, you know, this talks about somebody who's bitter. And uh, feels like they're going to be lonely for the rest of their life, right? So this is how you are affecting them. I feel like in order to reunite with you, they have to reject somebody. And they know somebody's going to feel really lonely and bitter here. Yeah, bitter. Bitter is not a good word. No. It's not. So your hopes and fears, page of uh, queen of swords. Let's get a card on the queen of swords. This is a really interesting reading. I feel like it is uh, because... Uh, you look like you're playing a uh, psychologist here yourself. Maybe that's why this card showed up. Oh, that was in the other reading. So, no, that's Psyche right here. You could be coming to the rescue. I'm coming, honey, to fix your brain, right? So you can figure out your life, right? <laughs> and we have the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords showing up here. This is the hopes and fears for you, right? You're wondering if they're going to have an ending in their own life or this is going to end kind of for you as well. I feel like you are. Let's get a card about your hopes and fears. Yeah, let's see what it is. And this is uh, the castigation card. This is, you know, pain. This is some major pain here. I feel like they might have to inflict pain on this person who could be really bitter over here. Yeah. Yeah, you could, this could be really painstaking for them. That's really what that card talks about. She's drawing blood. That's a very painstaking thing on her own back, right? Yeah. And we have the Ace of Swords in the outcome. Let's get a card here for the Ace of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. These are completions. Yeah, the Ace is a new beginning. And this is a completion here, Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what else it says. But uh, we have the Seven of Swords. This is an escape. I feel like you're wondering here if they're doing that. This could be happening. This could really happen here. Right? But... It's not clear if it's going to happen because look at all the plight that you are thinking this person has. Yeah. Right? Let's get a card on the outcome here. This is why in this reading, we definitely need the extended here. Yeah, we do. Let's see what we have. Because this is right, really your own reading. Let's see what we have here. And we have uh, Fortuna here. We have Fortune up here. You know, this can be a healing, definitely. And this can be somebody figuring out like, receiving the light he's standing here receiving all these stars coming out of the you know this is kind of like emotional or spiritual knowledge kind of right it's coming out of the sky and he's feeling really good 
Let's get another card here. And this can be like, this can be a new beginning too, because he's standing in front of like all the, uh, the abundance here. Yeah. This can talk about receiving abundance and we have the man consoling the woman here. Yeah. She's crying here and he brought her news. And I feel like you, you might be wondering if this person is going to do this to you, but you know, this is a trip here. Because this could be, you know, somebody, the ace, the aces are all new beginnings, but this can also be a decision. But I feel like this is a new beginning, an ending, ten of pentacles, an escape, uh, seven of swords, the man's running away here. And we have healing. And this could be somebody, as I said, receiving the light. Like, I have to do this. I love Capricorn. You know this person loves you, Capricorn. You do. I, I mean, I know this. This is, you know. And... You know, this, he's bringing news here and he's not coming to rescue anybody. This, this card talks about feelings. We're going to end the reading and, uh, we're going to go to the extent that they're all super affordable. We're going to see how they feel about you and their whole spread here, Capricorn. And yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, you guys, uh, for joining me here.